students. My name is David Morrow, but you guys can call me Mr. Morrow. And I'm here today to teach you guys a wonderful lesson about context clues, okay? But before we get there, I see you guys have the groggy, very sleepy faces on. So I wanna kinda of wake you up and get you excited and motivated to learn today. So what I did was I prepared a poem for you guys, all right? Dear students, my students, the day has arrived for each and every one of you guys to climb to new heights. Today we shall embark on an academic journey. I hope to stimulate your minds and foster a place for learning. In actuality, literature, it may fill your hearts with despair, but I am here as your teacher to let you know how much I care. And in turn, you will see, much like me, that language is indeed an art. So class, remember, when you speak, when you write, and when you read, you are creating a whole new way to live, a way to think, and a way to feel. So wonderful class, our lesson I shall now reveal. Much like I alluded to in my poem, guys, today's lesson is going to be about the use of context clues to determine the meaning of words. And this is going to be a, a very helpful and useful tool in your reading and your writing, OK? So the first step is to figure out what is a context clue? So context clues are bits and pieces of information from the text that can be combined with your prior knowledge about things and use to interpret the meanings of unknown words or phrases, okay? These words and phrases are built in. These context clues are built in your sentence around this new or difficult word. And by becoming more aware of the words surrounding it, so these context clues, by becoming more aware of these context clues, a reader can make a logical guess as to what the meaning of this new or difficult word is, okay? So you just want to think about these little clues are there to help a reader or a writer understand the meaning of certain words. Because every word, we're not going to know, okay? And that's okay. But using context clues can help you interpret and understand the meaning of difficult words. Okay, now you guys kind of get an understanding of what a context clue is or the use of context clues. So now I want to give you an example. So I have a friend named Ryan who moved to a new country, a country that doesn't necessarily speak English. And he's writing in his diary, but there are a couple of words that he, he doesn't know how to directly translate. So we're going to read this little piece, and we're going to try to figure out what certain words mean. We're going to use our context clues, OK? So he says, dear diary, I overslept this morning. I had to eat my bowl of poop poops very quickly, and I almost missed the Trans Am. When I got to school, I realized that I had forgotten my ping ping. Luckily, my teacher, Mrs. Rhodes, was very boosh. And she told me I could bring it tomorrow. OK? So that's a little snippet bit of Ryan's diary. Now we're going to try to go back and use our context clues to figure out what these words mean. So first, he overslept this morning. He had to eat his bowl of poof poofs very quickly. And he almost missed the Trans Am. So he overslept, and he has to eat breakfast very quickly. So what's something that you guys would eat for breakfast? Maybe oatmeal, grits, granola, maybe cereal. Poof poof, cereal. I could see that being, being some kind of connection. So I think, you know, based on the wording of this, we can use our context clues to determine that poof poofs are cereal. OK? Now to move on to the next one. Very quickly. Very quickly, he ate those very quickly, and he almost missed the Trans Am. So he's going to school, he woke up late. What is something that you could miss that morning? I'm thinking maybe the Trans Am is gonna be the school bus, because that's what's taking him to school, obviously. Okay, so he almost missed the Trans Am. So I'm thinking maybe the Trans Am is a bus, school bus, all right. 
When I got to school,